Hello, I'm Brian Rayburn with Fire Trucks Unlimited, and I'm here to talk about this 2008 Spartan Crimson Pumper. As you can see, it's on the Spartan Gladiator chassis, which is their high-end chassis. It has a Cummins ISM 450 horsepower motor big block, so it's got a good amount of power, as you can see, and that also has an Allison 4000 automatic transmission. Um, you can see in the cab, you got air suspension driver's seat. Um, this, uh, it's got like that heavy duty Zolotone coating, so it's more of an industrial, durable interior. Coming in to the cab, you've got your uh, VMUX multiplex electrical system, so all your controls are right here to the right of the uh, driver. Your, your uh, traffic director, siren controller, um, air, con air conditioning, of course. Major cab, going back into the crew area, you've got two rear facing SCBA crew seats. They have the integrated uh, seat belts. You also have a Sigtronics comm system inside this cab. Once again, the coating, flooring is in good shape, upholstery is free of tears. As you look around this truck, you're going to notice that there's not uh, a lot of imperfections that you see a lot of times in uh, fire trucks. Just the little things like rub rails, uh, fender trim rings. You normally see nick scraps, uh, nicks and scratches and dents, and this truck really is free of a lot of that. You have a nice stainless steel uh, piece here to protect when you're pulling your cross lays. Coming to the, the pump panel, we've got a 1500 GPM waterous pump. You've got two cross lays that have foam. It has a foam pro foam system and a waterous calf system. So if you're a fire department that uses calves, this is the fire engine for you. Um, electric prime of course and you've got cast discharge to the cross lays on the right side you've got uh, you know a discharge on the front you've also got a couple pre-connects on the rear and you know, your intake on the driver's side so moving on back also you got a larger water level gauge up top it's on both sides LED so you can see it from far away some access panel uh, steps up top, we've got a pedestal mounted scene light, ROM aluminum roll up doors all around. They, they slide up and down really easily. The uh, seals on each side, a lot of times you'll see these are all torn up. These are all intact in good shape. Uh, deep compartments, adjustable shelves, has dry deck on each one of these shelves. LED compartment lighting. Forgot to mention we got LED emergency lighting all around as well. You're over the compartment, or over the wheel well compartment. Another deep compartment. Big panel here so you can push it down easily. Pull bar. SCBA bottle storage. Got this extra light. Aluminum rims on the front and rear. You can also notice on this truck it's got a short wheelbase. So if you're in a fire department that uh, needs maneuvering and stuff like that, this is about as short as you're going to find on a a typical pumper. Another deep compartment. Coming around to the back of the truck, we've got, uh, uh, like I said before, you actually have a pre two and a half inch pre-connect to the hose bed, and you've also got uh, another smaller line pre-connect to the compartment just to store hose in there like an inch and a half. Traffic advisor, we've also got a backup camera, rear compartment, we've got a cord reel, sector rewind. Ladder storage inside, another large compartment, uh, SCBA storage again. This one's you got a half depth compartment up top because of your ladder storage. And here. Another split depth, so half up here, full depth down below. Once again, you could look up and down the truck. There's no big scrapes, dents, scratches. I actually took care of this truck. Uh, officer side pump panel. You've got a, a master discharge. 
The deck gun actually has a monitor on it. This uh, pump panel is, is quick remove too, so you just got three uh, latches that you got to disconnect, you got to take off a couple fittings, and you can access the complete pump panel. To the rear, cap's in good shape. And the officer seat. All right, we've got the cab lifted up now. I want to take a look at the engine and the transmission. As you can see, it's got a Cummins ISM motor, the Allison automatic transmission. You've got a good size cooling package in there. Um, you can really just see around the, this uh, whole engine area. The frame's in good shape. There's absolutely no corrosion. Um, it's very clean. Your steering components are in good shape. You've actually got a dual steering assist cylinder on both the driver and the officer side wheels just really good shape underneath so should be strong for many years to come and coming around to the front you've got your you know moderately extended front bumper you've got these hose rollers you also have your front discharge your mechanical federal Q siren it's a nice truck overall you also have a preemption traffic preemption device on your on your light bar LED light bar so very nice truck it's got a big block motor could serve your community well a nice addition to your fleet if you have any more questions please give us a call visit our website or send us a message thank you